Hey guys, in this video I'll walk you through uh, a couple reasons why I built this Hackintosh. And um, this is a pretty budget build, but it, it's also very powerful as well. And so this is an AMD Ryzen 9 3900. Um, it's got 12 cores, 24 threads, um, RX 580, it's on a B450 motherboard. Um, I, and I built it um, with the being small form factor in mind because I wanted to put it in a small form factor case, uh, one terabyte NVMe, uh, the the power supply, the RX 580, and then the Corsair uh, 3200, 32 gigs, uh, two sticks of 16 gigs each, and 3900. And the reason why I wanted to build something very powerful was that I had an old Mac Air, and this old Mac Air is um, probably about five years old. And I recently bought a Tesla late last year, and I wanted to start doing some videos on Tesla and the evolution of the autopilot or full self-driving. And so when I would get home, I would put these like five minute clip, 10 minute clip into the Mac Air and then try to stabilize the shakes out of the videos. And anytime I would do that, it would take hours for, for, for that to get done. And the machine would just like take off like the airplane was taking off. And so it would go crazy. I was like, oh, there's no way this thing's going to be able to do what I do now. And so in this example, um, I'm comparing my old Mac Air uh, versus the Hackintosh. And so this Mac Air is five years old. It's a dual core processor. Um, and, and we're basically going to stabilize the same video. And it's a five minute video. It's a 1080, uh, 1080 60, I think. Um, and I, I try to shoot with 4K, but my Mac Air can't handle any anything 4K, and so uh, this is a 1080. And we'll just kind of go through here and compare both of them. So I kick both of them off at the same time. It, the the stabilization part it does it does two things. I, I think at first it examines the video, and then second it comes around and then tries to stabilize it out. And so normally for me in the past on the mac air it would take i mean 30 40 50 minutes or so to do a five minute video uh, we'll kind of really time it here and see how long it does take but um right now it's saying it's 10 minutes and i think this is examining or analyzing um and then after it's done analyzing it'll, it'll try to process it and so it looks like the mac or pro or the hackintosh a minute and a half in it's almost done analyzing and it may kick off into processing now okay so it's processing now and it looks like it's got three or four minutes left um, on the Mac Air it's still analyzing probably and, and when I um before the reason why I picked this 12 core processor was because when I was doing this the CPU was tapped out and even with this 12 core 24 thread you can see that it's got 24 threads but it's still getting pretty close to tapped out like you can see all 24 core or threads on the screen and uh, the first 12 or everything on the left side is at 100 percent everything on the right side is 50, 50 to 70 percent and so it's still this process is still pretty intensive regardless of how powerful your machine is and so that that's why I kind of wanted a really powerful uh, CPU for this for this rig that I have here so we'll see how many minutes we have left here three minutes left we'll let it go for a couple more minutes here and then we'll check check back shortly the Mac Air, I think, is still analyzing at this point. It, it hasn't even got to the part where it's processing just yet. So we'll check back here and shortly. Oh, and then actually, let's pull up to see what this Mac Air has. It's a 2015 1.6 gig uh, dual core i5. Okay, so um, we're, we're wrapping up on the Hackintosh here. It's roughly about four to five minutes now. Um, the timer's still left. I'll show you that in shortly here. Okay, it's finally done. Let's take a look here. So about five minutes and 30 seconds or so to process that stabilization for a five minute clip. Um, this is a 1080 
60 frames per second and you can see all the CPUs just drop down completely we're at 25 minutes and and it's finally going to complete and so if you if you want to compare that like i was wasting uh, so much time like just waiting for things to um stabilize and anytime you make a change to the video it starts to analyze and starts to process the change again and just that just took a lot more time um so y y i think we don't probably don't need to see it finish out but you kind of get the idea uh, five minutes versus 25 minutes and so or maybe 26 27 it's getting close to 30 minutes um, but yeah it, it took a lot of time and so that's why I wanted to build a really beefy system but at the end of the day it was still a cheap system um, because it was around $1100 I, I do have a video I'll share the link below hopefully this was useful to you if you made it this far and it's added any value go ahead and hit the thumbs up thanks for watching enjoy bye